Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to talk to you about Microsoft Forms. So you will find Microsoft Forms within your Office 365 and if you're on the new version as I am here, if you simply put your cursor over the icon to be programs and scroll down, you'll see towards the bottom we've got Microsoft Forms. The Microsoft Forms is a way of creating a web-based form that you can either send to internal staff or you can even share it outside of your organization. So to create a new form, you would press on the new form button and then you're given the, ch the chance to give it a title. So I'm gonna call this training needs. I can give it a description as well if I want. And I could also go and add a picture either from my search on the web from a OneDrive, or I can upload from my computer. So I'm going to put fill in this form to help us plan future training. So now that I've got my title area, if I press add new, that then gives me the ability to add questions and I've got different types of questions I can add. I can add a choice one where I give them a scenario and I then give them choices to pick from. I can give them one where I give them a question and they can then put their own text in. I can do a rating. I can do a date. And it's drop down here so I've got ones where I can do a big grid with different options in. I can even upload files for them to fill in and I can do like a, a score as well. Okay, I'm gonna do a choice. I'm gonna put in my first one, what training would you like? So I'm gonna put in there, I'm gonna put uh, Excel training is option one. I'm gonna put Word training as number two, and you can add more options. So I'm going to put PowerPoint now. You do have the option to add more just to keep by pressing that. You can add an other option. So I'm going to do an other. And if they pick that, that then gives them a box that they can type in what the other training may be. Down at the bottom of this question area, I now have the ability that they can select multiple options. At the moment, the default is they pick one. If I was to change that to multiple, see it becomes a tick box rather than a radio button. And I can make this required. So if they don't fill this in, they then can't submit the form. Okay, so I've made that required. I'm now going to put a text box in. So I'm going to put um, enter your details. So then they can put that email address in. And notes with this text one, we've got a choice of long text or short text. So with the short text, we can add 255 characters. With a long text, we can add quite a bit more. So again I'm going to make that required. And then to show you the other two I'm going to do a rating. So I'm going to put what level do you feel you are at now. So we've got our rating where I can change the score. So two is the lowest up to 10. I can have symbols or I can have numbers. Okay. We've then got our date one. 
So I'm going to put um, what do you like training, and then that gives them a date input that they can do. Now, once I'm done, I can preview this so I can see what it would look like for an end user to fill in. I can also make it look a bit nicer by adding one of the built-in themes. So let's go for that one. And then once I'm done with that, I can share that. Now, if I press on the share button, you'll see that the only people in my organization is the default response, and that's what this link will do. I can do anyone with the link can respond. And I've got various ways that I can give that to people, either as a link, as a QR code. I can embed it so I can put it on a website. Or I can even email it out to them. Now, once I'm done, if I go back to my main screen, you'll see I've already created some and I've used one here to do some feedback on recent training. So when I click on that one, you'll see I can see the 13 responses. Now, if I click on the 13 responses, I see this in like a report format so I can have a look quickly through and see who those responses are. And some of them, they give me the sort of graph like views of this. The really cool feature here is I can press this button and that will then export this into an Excel format for me. So if I click on there and it downloads it, I can then analyze that information using the power of Excel. Okay, guys, I hope you found that useful. If you want to see more videos from me, please remember to press subscribe and don't forget to give me a like and click that notification bell. That way, when I put a new video out, YouTube will let you know. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.